The Melbourne gangland boss Tony Mockbell is facing another 20 years in jail after pleading guilty to a string of drug offences. Mockbell has admitted he was the general of a vast and lucrative drug network. He's been before the courts ever since he was extradited from Greece three years ago. Sarah Farnsworth reports on the final chapter of Melbourne's gangland wars. Tony Mockbell's defence team remained tight-lipped after a protracted case that dogged the courts for the past three years came to an end. OK, no comment. This is the biggest interview I've ever done. No comment. <laughs> Suppression orders kept details of Mockbell's crime secret until this morning when 24 of them were lifted. In the end, it was a jovial Mockbell who pleaded guilty to two counts of trafficking large hauls of ecstasy and speed and one count of urging an undercover police officer to traffic drugs. He's already beaten two murder charges. It can now be revealed a jury acquitted Mock Bell of financing the hit on gangland identity Lewis Moran, a public killing ordered by his close friend and associate Carl Williams. Ultimately, the jurors didn't believe he played a part. Police also accused Mock Bell of ordering the 2003 killing of hot dog vendor Michael Marshall, but that charge was later withdrawn. Mockbell arrived back on Australian soil in 2008, having lost a seven-month fight against extradition from Greece. The seriousness of two murder charges and numerous drug trafficking offences arguably secured his return. But in the end, only three charges remained, with Mockbell admitting to being the general of a vast drug network. A police operation nicknamed Magnum revealed while in hiding, Mock Bell ran a complex speed trafficking syndicate, netting more than $4 million. Two other operations uncovered his elaborate factory setup where he made ecstasy, only to become unstuck when he placed a drug order with an undercover police officer. Four of seven drug investigations into a decade of alleged drug trafficking were abandoned by the prosecution as part of a plea deal. But with the crimes Mock Bell has pleaded guilty to, he could spend at least 20 years in jail. He's already serving a nine-year sentence for trafficking cocaine. Sarah Farnsworth, ABC News, Melbourne.